Happy October. Spirit wanted me to come in here and clear it out your energy. Because we're going into retrograde, retrograde, I need to give someone a warning, divine and feminine, that you are, your energy and your heart chakra is open, but you're not necessarily sending in the right person. So let's be prepared. Let's take a few minutes to count backwards. That's three, two, one. Breathe in, breathe out. Clear it all out there. Now, divine feminine can be masculine or feminine energy. As we move into retrograde, if spirit has asked me to step in and guide you, I was led this morning to do so. Clearing out the deck, I've already done that. Father, spirit, son, and ghost. Raphael, Michael, come in and clear and cleanse. Open up the message so that my watcher can understand. Share, like, and subscribe if you've never seen my channel before. Let's go where we need to go. Nine of Wands, holding down the fort. If you can't get in since the door has been opened, they're bringing in their own door. So maybe they show up unexpected. <clears throat> These people look like they're waiting patiently for a door to arrive or something to come. And then again, the door is wide open. Someone's coming in after a long journey of this door being closed that someone is going to break it down. Um, I'm not sensing good energy from here. So you have five, six, nine, nine and six. Oh, behind the nine, which I didn't see, was the Knight of Swords. That's Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. They're trying to break the door down. They are trying to get your attention. Make sure that you're sending the right signals in. And you're asking at this point, prayer, your mother, someone you're asking whether or not you need to go back down this road or are you asking God to release you from all the things that happened before this point with spirit's help so that you manifest the right person. This is a wish fulfillment for someone that was small, maybe working through some unresolved issues with their mother. Uh, maybe this is a crush from someone young on you and you just don't know how to tell them to go away. They come bearing gifts. Maybe they're younger than you. We have Scorpio Pisces Cancer on the table. I have Aries Leo Sagittarius. I have Gemini Libra Aquarius. Clarify the Queen of Chalices. Clarify Spirit. The Devil, Capricorn Energy. We have Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo showing up now. It's showing that they're letting the Karmic know more information about you. They surely have not gotten rid of them yet and they are watching you. They want to be like you. They want to be with your man. They're doing everything to stop it, even trying to have a baby. There's a lot of sadness here, a lot of tears, a lot of remorse in the partnership. It's almost like they've let you, left you out in the cold. That's what I'm hearing. To go on with their karmic partner. Clarify the five of wands, spirit. Clarify the five of wands. Clarify the five of wands, spirit. Clarify the five of wands. The Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity. So yes, this is somebody coming in, moving forward. It's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They want a new beginning. You hold the keys to their heart is what I heard. So the person who's bringing the door with the knob, not on the hinges, it, you hold the key to their heart. I'm sensing an Aries and a Capricorn or Taurus. They're going through a tower moment. And now you have a choice to make. You're weighing your options. More than one suitor. Life has moved on. You are trying to debate whether spiritual or religious. There's a factor here that's not coming into balance. Holding the sword. You get to choose now. They're going to bring you a gift, so be careful. You have one, then two. That's progress. You're moving forward and manifesting something new. Someone sees you as a, an opportunity. Something that showed out of nowhere, but there's equal balance here. You're giving and they're giving. You're receiving and they're receiving. The door is open. Spirit said, go in. Take the opportunity. Don't look back. 
cut something out that no longer serves you. They've put you on this long maze, still unsure where you stand with them. They're just gonna come in and do the same thing over and over again. Now the sign doesn't necessarily mean it's the person you're dealing with, but it does obviously tell you a story that needs to be heard. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Someone is watching you. They're coming in slowly, watching your moves, whether it's you, they're watching, whether the karmic is watching you or the karmic is watching both of you. Aries shows up in the reading. This person is sitting back watching every move that you make, standing in their power. This could even be you. You're finally at the place where you're capable to cut this out. It no longer serves you. But because if you watch the color sequence here, because you've seeked your higher up and temperance is weighing out your options, you're now going to see things from above. So as above, so below. Before you were running through the bottom of the maze, now you can see from divine and spirit, from the top of the maze, which direction and which you need to go. Anything more for the heat of warning for my divine feminines coming through here? The lovers. Someone new is coming in. The fruit that you've manifested and the manifestation that you have looked for the right partner is all coming into play now. See how abundant your tree is? The tree of life is now moving forward. You just have to cut this person out from the past, which they did not see coming. They're watching you. They don't see anybody. You're opening the door. You know they're there. It's larger than life. But they always seem to go away. They're a coward. They used to bang on your door late at night. This is someone from your past. This is a suitor coming in that's equally matched for you, Spirit said. You don't want this, which is the karmic energy. No longer serves you. You want to bless the happy life, the happy wife. Clarify the lover's spirit. Communication. A lot of emotion here. Coming in fast. I almost feel like because this person's on a new journey, they're a little bit scared. I'm getting that energy. Coming right through the heart of the matter. I almost see this as you. You're going after what you want. Maybe you're even going back. Nope, you're going forward. I'm sorry. You and your horse have seen better days. Trust and loyal person. You're moving forward into a positive direction. A night kind of moves fast, so you have to be careful. They come in fast and they change their mind fast. Clarify the outcome of this reading. The heat of warning here. Oh, that jumped out. That's confirmation. Happy life, happy wife. Whatever you're going after, after cutting out the past, is bringing in abundance, love, guidance, closing out a cycle in your life. This is the one. Maybe they're royalty. Maybe they have power. Maybe they know a lot of people, but they're not a common person. They're not an ordinary Joe. They're someone famous. Someone who's really good at their job. Maybe a government official. Anything more, Spirit? Any more clarification for this reading for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine? Celebration. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Where there's two or more gathered, then the Lord and Spirit will guide you and heed you from protection. So right now, this card, they're watching you. They're going to call. You're going to have to make a huge decision. That's the outcome which is going to change your life. You'll welcome them with open arms, but protect. They're not coming in with the best of intentions. It's the message here. Now, these are, you know, could be a little graphic. There's a lot of curse words on here. So if you're not used to that, do apologize. These are just what the cards say. Whoa. Okay. Have you eaten? You were acting like a big baby ass. So whoever this person is caused you a lot of grief. Don't believe every shitty thought that you have. So they're trying to persuade you to move forward to them and, and help you try to forget the past. When you can forgive, you just can't forget. They put you through a lot of heartache. And finally, it says take a fucking trip. It's not me, it's the cards. I apologize. Go see some shit. Do some new things. Talk to people. Cooler than you. Go manifest a new circle. I'm going to clarify this real quick. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Raphael, Michael, everyone who is watching. Clear and cleanse my deck. 
pull me three cards, Spirit and Divine, for guidance to heed the warning from someone from their past and karma coming back in. Father, Son, So I have the Six of Wands, which is victory, passionate. You're observing. See the elephant in the background? Your trunk is up. You've listened. You've learned. You've heed the warning. I'm letting you know that someone's coming back in for a fire sign. I have the Five of Cups. You're not sure how they feel about you, but they're opening up your heart chakra. You feel like because they've done the work that they came back to show you how much they love you, but you're still unshortened. Shorten. You're still uncertain about how they feel about you. And finally, the damsel in distress. Watch them. Sneaky energy. Scorpionic energy. Someone coming back from the past. Maybe put a spell on you. The karmic is watching you. Please watch out. Be careful. Again, someone from your past is coming back with bad intentions. That is going to be 1111. That's confirmation. That's divine partner. They're going to mirror your actions. So spirit is saying, be careful. It's coming during retro retrograde. Be still and hear my voice, he said. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a great day.